Flooding caused by heavy rain has impacted at least 27 of 31 of China's provinces and regions on September 15. China's National Meteorological Center alerted that more heavy rain is forecasted for the area of the Yangtze River Basin in the next 24 hours. The center estimated that the overall rainfall in southern China's Yangtze River Basin would be 100 mm to 180 mm from in two days. In some regions the rainfall would reach 300 mm. The center also alerted that the Northern Chinese regions of Tibet, Xinjiang, King Ai, Xinjiang, Gansu, Inner Mongolia, Beijing, Tianjin, Liaoning and Heilongjiang would experience heavy rain in upcoming days. Chinese Vice Minister of Water Resources Yi Jiantin said during his September 15 press conference in Beijing that the Yellow River, Hai River and Sangwa River in northern China would experience flooding in the coming months but locals lack the experience to face this disaster. We should pay more attention to northern China. He Said he explained that the rainfall this summer in the Yangtze River Basin and Tai Lake Basin is 1.5 times to 2.6 times the rainfall in previous years and that authorities will evacuate impacted people in advance. However, people in the flooded provinces of Anhui, Hubei and Jiangxi told in phone interviews that their hometowns were submerged recently after authorities discharged flood waters at the lakes or rivers or due to embankment breaches. However, authorities did not offer proper assistance. They said Wang Min lives in Yugan village located in eastern China's Tongling city and Hui province. The Yangtze River passes through the village. He told that he and his fellow villagers were forced to leave their hometown located near a small dike that day. Authorities gave up on the smaller dikes to protect the bigger ones. Wang said either by not strengthening the embankment to allow it to collapse naturally or by manually breaking the bank they allow the flood waters from the Yangtze River to be. Released into the dikes he added that day over 12,000 people left their homes in Tangling. Wang said most of them have nowhere to go and are now waiting out the flooding at temporary shelters. Wang said the shelters lack drinking water mosquito coils to repel insects, raincoats, flashlights and tents. Authorities did not give the villagers enough food. Wang added many are worried that their property would be swept away by the floods. The use live at the Hyudong village in Poyang County. Located in eastern China's Jiangxi province three generations of the family live under the same roof Yudong and dozens of other villages in the county were inundated by flood waters on September 10 after several embankment breaches authorities claimed that they evacuated impacted people but Yu's family was still stuck in their house on September 15 flood waters had not yet receded the flooding is everywhere we can't go out and we really need food the father told the CCTV the grandfather. Explain that in Hyudong flood waters reached the second floor Mr. Zhang is from Dixie village about 30 miles from Yudong. He and his fellow villagers were in the same situation as the Yus. Many people lost their houses in my village. Zhang said the flood waters are still increasing. Authorities are discharging flood waters from the Poyang Lake. He added you.